Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. There are details on how to win a free personal reading. And then lastly, the only other thing I'm going to bring up is that uh, there will be an extended reading link in the description box. Uh, your love reading here may not resonate with everybody out there. Take what resonates. Uh, if it does resonate, I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading in the extended. And I will dive deeper into whoever shows up in your energy. Um, the link, again, I don't know if I said it or not, will be in the comments and it will also be in the description box. So with that, Pisces, we're going to cut the deck here. These are uh, love notes here. And we're going to see what the energies are here for you. So let's see what it is. Okay, it says, is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Okay. Obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials, and I hope I run into you when I am out. All right. Now, some of you, this person could live in your community, you know, so this definitely feels like someone is spying on you. They're wondering if you're dating someone else. Let's see what else comes out. All right. We got mother wounds. Now, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now, and as an adult, I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. Now, everybody has uh, masculine and feminine energy. <clears throat> so this could be this person. This could be why this person is obsessed here. Okay, that could go back to uh, their mother wounds here. Someone's really thinking about you, Pisces. Now, we all look at this. <laughs> We have run away. I love this card. It says, would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Wow. Someone's definitely kind of fantasizing about you, uh, Pisces. And my heart goes out to those people in Hawaii with the fires. Uh, it made me think about that. But um, so Pisces... Let's see what the tarot has to say. There's somebody definitely thinking about you. Not too sure who this is yet, okay? So, take it how it resonates. It could be anybody um, so far in this point. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Uh, what can you share with Pisces in love regarding this person? Who's coming towards Pisces? Please share it with Pisces what they need to know. All right. So I'm going to lay out your cards here before I say anything. Got Cancerian energy. Feels like somebody here wants to come towards you, Pisces. All right. Now, bottom of the deck here, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, upcoming here, I see that somebody is coming towards you. Somebody who wants to put in the work. Someone who wants to give you attention. They see your value. They see your worth here. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So I see that somebody here is definitely uh, has their focus, their attention. And again, look at that upcoming here too, six of wands, All right? So this is someone I feel who, you know, they want that victory with you. Now, Pisces, I'm going to say too, it could be somebody here that you work with. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but... You know, also get an energy that this is someone who works with their hands or they could, you know, they could do some sort of carpentry or construction, 
or design or something like this. But this is someone who's a hard worker is what I get as well. Now we have the two of pentacles and we have the five of wands. So I feel here because it's right underneath the, is it true? This is someone I feel who's going back and forth here about you, okay? They're obsessing a bit. They may feel there's competition. So somebody feels here, maybe you're dating, maybe there's competition here. This could just be their internal struggle. They're going back and forth. I feel like this person wants to reach out to you because I do see a message upcoming. But let's see what else we have here too. We have the seven of wands and we also have the chariot. So it does feel like this person is coming towards you. They're, it's like they're trying to overcome you know whatever this internal struggle i feel like this person is going through whether you know that you know i feel like at some point you know this person or this is someone around you some of you it could be someone you've known for quite some time and others i feel like this could be someone right who wants to come towards you wants to uh reach out to you wants to maybe ask you on a date here okay could be a cancerian could also be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius now we also have again there's something here about this person struggling they're really slow it does feel like a slow a slower energy coming towards you but whatever is preventing this person from coming towards you whatever this person you know is carrying okay it could be their mother wounds feeling insecure because i get that too here with this five of pentacles that i'm seeing this is someone I feel, there's a message coming here with this Knight of Pentacles. These burdens are going to be released. I'm also gonna clarify, because some of you, this could be someone that um, there could have been something that happened between the two of you, you know, an energy where maybe it was not working or other people got involved in this connection is what I see, because this can also be about drama. But you have um, this energy where, you know, I feel like this person's not feeling very secure. I feel like too, this could be someone who feels like you're not, you don't notice them or you're not giving them any attention. And we got Aquarius energy here with the star card. So this is someone, they have hope, but it's almost like they're defeated before they even start here. Um, and that's what they're obsessing about, okay? They may feel like you could possibly be here in another relationship. Very interesting. So we're gonna clarify and then we're gonna get um, more energies, you know, based on what we see here. Okay, why is this person going back and forth here about this? Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Okay, we have Judgment and the Sun card. Okay, so I'm going to read this two ways because it may not resonate with all of you. Some of you, this is a past person. And there has been some time that has passed. We have Sagittarius and Leo energy. Some of you, this is someone because of their past, because of their mother wounds, as it says here. This is someone who it, it takes them some time here. I'm almost feeling like, right, it, it takes them some time to build the courage, right, to make progress to come towards you because they carry um, some burdens of the past. We all carry burdens of the past, right? And we, you know, we try to evolve. We try to work on those things. All right. So I feel like this person's trying to make a judgment call, trying to make a decision because they see, you know, and I'm going to say this is August timing. This is Leo season. So I feel like this is happening now. And I feel like this is someone who sees a lot of potential. They see a lot of happiness with you. And some of you, this is someone you've shared some memories in the past, and that's what they're thinking about. They're obsessing here. They're looking at your photos. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Okay, we got the Six of Swords, and we have the Tower. Five of Pentacles again. Definitely feels this could be someone where there was a, a, you know, a tower moment. I talked about things not working. I talked about, you know, instability or not a strong foundation here. And so 
I feel like too that's why this person's trying to make the decision here because they're not feeling like things are stable. They're not feeling in a good place mentally here with the six of swords. Uh, you know, and that that could be, you know, as I said, for for different reasons. But there's something here this person's struggling. They're not feeling like things are stable. Some of you, there could actually be either energetic distance, which we said with the timing, or there could be, uh, this could be someone who lives at a distance from you. Now, let's clarify the seven of wands. Tell me more about the seven of wands. Okay, we have the eight of cups, and we have the three of cups. Yeah, it definitely feels, again, like this person wants to communicate with you. They want to socialize with you. But again, I keep picking up. This is someone who may be feeling like you don't see them or you block them. Some of you could have blocked this person if you knew this person. But they're not too sure if the opportunity is there. That's what I see here. I feel like this is someone who... Um, is trying to make their way towards you, but they may be feeling here that you're going out with other people or you're going out and having fun. And especially if they're able to stock your social media here, then they may be seeing that. They may be seeing you having fun, going out, and this is what makes them not feel content because they may feel that you're dating um, other people or there's competition here. Okay, let's talk about these burdens being released here because this person's not going to be able to do this much longer because I do see a message here with the Knight of Pentacles. Something's changing with this Knight of Pentacles. We're going to see what what's, that's about. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. All right. We got the Four of Cups and we have the Three of Swords. So, yeah. This person's struggling because they don't know if you are going to reject them. And some of you, it's because there was some sort of heartbreak in the past between the two of you or some sort of betrayal. Uh, even could even be a third party situation. But it's also an energy of, you know, this person's past hurts, which makes them unsure. And so this is the burdens this person has been carrying with them. This could be someone who is still going through some healing or possibly even needs to do some healing but you got the strength card here as well they're trying to gain the courage that's why i feel like they're going to gain the courage here to reach out to you um, because here's the knight of pentacles they've been really slow though they've been really slow to come towards you pisces tell me more about this knight of pentacles tell me more about this knight of pentacles okay yeah look at that they're so in their head here, Pisces. We have um, the Eight of Swords and we have the Ten of Cups here. They see happiness with you. They're trying to manifest you in their life. Here it is, confirmation. There's your energy. And look, they're obsessive. Devil is showing up, Capricorn energy. They're obsessive here about this uh, this connection. They're, the, all they can think about is you. They're reflecting here, but they're not content. They're not content here, okay? Some of you, you know, there is some time invested here, okay? There it is again. They're reflecting here. They don't know if there's competition. They're struggling here about it, okay? Tell me more about um, this Knight of Pentacles. I want to get two more cards. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. They're so in their head. Okay, I guess these two want to come out. Yeah, look at that. Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. What's that? What that is telling me, Pisces, that this is someone who is planning. They already have the intention to come towards you. They see stability here. Okay, they see that things could possibly go to something long term with you. Okay, they want that stability with you, but they're really this is someone feeling really insecure here. Okay, I don't know if they feel intimidated by you, but they're feeling very insecure. Uh, let's tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Okay, there you are, Pisces energy. Wow, the moon and the lovers. Okay. You also have the King of Swords. So there may be something here where this person is having doubts because there may be some, some sort of truth or something that they need 
to um, say to you or confess to you? Let's see. Let's ask that. What does this person want to say to Pisces? What does this person want to say to Pisces? Okay, we've got the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords. Six of Wands. Well, I feel like they want to say that they're making their way towards you. They want to say that they want to pursue this connection. They want um, a victory here. Okay, Six of Wands I also see here is a goal in mind, a relationship. Let's see what's below the Six of Wands. We also have here Justice. Okay, so, you know, it feels like some sort of confession. It could just be a confession here that this person's interested in you. For, you know, for those of you that you feel this is a newer energy. Um, but for others, I feel like, you know, this is someone who may be wanting to make things right. Okay, so upcoming here, this is someone, their goal here is to make things right. They want to take the step towards you. They see the opportunity with you, Pisces, right? We have the star card here. That's the wish. Okay, I can also talk about balance and healing. Tell me more about the star card. Tell me more about the star card. King of Wands. Yeah. So here the burden is being released here. This person is taking action. This person's been very slow moving, though, I have to say. But look what's upcoming. The Knight of Swords, which is a fast moving energy. Once the, this person drops those wands, that Ten of Wands energy, here's the action. Here's the movement. This is what's coming up coming here. And some of you, it's slow moving because this is someone who something happened between you and this person and others I feel here this is someone who you know they just they're a little bit insecure and the eight of pentacles we saw that uh here on the bottom of the deck showing me this is someone coming towards you putting in the attention and the time with you so I want to pull some more energies here we will see in the extended more so right what transpires over the next four weeks and I also will dive deeper into this person's thoughts feelings actions and intentions we'll get love notes and guidance as well so what is, does Pisces need to know about this person coming towards Pisces or where things are going gosh the ten of wands okay keeps showing up Okay, we got uh, the hermit energy, Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck. This is someone who they've been doing a lot of um, introspection, soul searching here. Okay, this could be someone who's feeling alone, feeling isolated as well. We also have here the seven of coin. And the seven of swords. Yeah. This is someone who's hiding, I feel, here how they truly feel. And for some of you, this could be someone who lied or did something in the past that was deceptive. Or they were hiding something here. Seven of coin. We saw the seven of coin earlier, but this, this tells me this was someone who there's time invested here. Okay. For some of you, a long time invested here where someone was not real with you in the past. They hid behind a mask. And this is someone, even if it's a newer energy, they kind of still are hiding that, right? They want to give to this connection and they want to invest in this connection. You also have here the Ten of Coin. Second time we've seen Ten of Coin. This is someone who wants, um, they're, think they're seriously thinking about the future and the possibilities with you. Now, I don't know if this is a healthy connection, Pisces. You're going to have to decide that, right, with the obsession energy. And here you are, the moon card, and look at that. I don't know. I heard this, Pisces, I heard like you're a hot commodity. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that, but this is, uh, you know, this is a very confident, passionate energy here. So I feel like Pisces, too, you have the three of wands here. This tells me that um, I feel people are going to be attracted to your energy, 
not just this person, but um, there's something about your energy right now that is exuding uh, to people. And this is telling me here that you may have more than one opportunity here. So that's why I feel, Pisces, you're going to have to really decide and listen to your psychic insights here about this person. Um, and, you know, again, in the card of Leo season. Okay, there's definitely, I feel... Um, prosperity and happiness coming your way and we have the knight of coin i feel like they're telling you don't rush things be patient here uh, because i feel like there are going to be people who are reaching out to you but this this person whoever this person is this shows me that they're coming towards you they're coming towards you and this is someone who wants to give wants to be reliable and someone who wants to be consistent but you know, I'm just going to say you got uh, the magician energy here too. So Pisces, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.